Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Magic Crew. And we are hanging out at Disney's Art of Animation Resort and we are here today because this is Nacho Average YouTube video. This is actually a nacho video. Right, we're doing a nacho <laughs> review because Katie and I are nacho people. We're totally nacho people. And this is uh, the first video in our nacho average video series. Uh -huh. And we're gonna start to highlight all the different nacho dishes that we can find to come across. And uh -huh. so we're gonna show you guys a little bit of the Art of Animation Resort. Mm -hmm. And also to show you the adobo nachos that they have for a limited time. Yes, for spooky season. So we're starting off our nacho collection the best way possible with spooky nachos here at Disney's Art of Animation. So yeah, we're gonna get some noms, hang out, come along with us. And have a good time, yeah. come on guys. So when you take the Skyliner, over here to the resorts in this area for Pop Century and Art of Animation, you get off the Skyliner here at their one and only floating hub, and you can either go that way to the left for a Pop Century resort, or you can go this way for Art of Animation. That's where we're heading today. We're gonna check out Art of Animation and all the different areas here at Disney's Art of Animation. Our goal, of course, is the nachos, but we wanna stroll along and show you some other cool stuff along the way. Art of Animation is a big resort, but do not fret, there's maps everywhere. And just to give you a little run through of where everything is, well right now, we are here. We just came off of the Skyliner there, and we came this way to Art of Animation. Here in the middle is Finding Nemo. Uh, if you were to go over to this side, we have the Cars area of the resort. And then the other side of Finding Nemo, we have the Lion King and the Little Mermaid. And up here in the front, is Animation Hall, which has the lobby where you check in. It also has a fun shop and a food court. So here at Disney's Art of Animation Resort, there's a running trail for you. It actually goes all the way around this lake um, onto the Pop Century side too. And if you do a full circle, it's 1.3 miles. Um, the concrete here is super level, flat, nice and wide. So you don't have to worry about dodging strollers or anything. Um, makes for some great practice for all those run Disney events coming up. So if you're hanging out on the running trail, make sure to catch up on There's all these other. awesome animation facts around the lake. Uh, this one is in reference to Cars and Toy Story. It says, to infinity and beyond, Lightning McQueen's Lightyear tires are a nod to none other than Buzz Lightyear himself. So you get a little entertainment while you're going around the lake. Here we are in Radiator Springs in the Cars portion of Disney's Art of Animation Resort, and I'm here with none other than Lightning McQueen. You can find all of the awesome characters here. We got Mater, we got Luigi, we got Sarge, and in the center of it is a Cozy Cone Motel with their awesome pool. Like, check this out. These little cones are actually cabanas that you can hang out with your family and just enjoy some awesome pool time. The sides of the resort where the guests stay, they're painted to look like um, the mountains and a sunset along Route 66. And you can see all these gorgeous sunset purples and corals and oranges. And it's just really pretty. And even the foliage that they put here, everything adds to an awesome area here over in Radiator Springs. Also, check out the Wheel Well Motel. Um, <laughs> it's actually a giant tire and we have the wheel well motor court where they can pump up, like fill up on oil and it's kind of like a food court. It's really cute and fun. So we have the cornhole here and we also have this game where essentially you're tossing this and wanting it to wrap around. I have no idea what it's called. Do any of you guys drop a comment down below? Dang it. <laughs> if you know what this is called, I've played it several times and uh, that's about how good I am at this game. So we're here in front of Big Blue Pool. That is what this gigantic pool for Finding Nemo is referred to. And you'll see behind me, there's even Sea Anemone with Marlin and, and Nemo coming out of it. Um, there's all of the critters from his class around, um, big sculptures of Mr. Ray, Crush, um, little Junior Crush. They're everywhere and everything here is larger than life. So we also have these guys, <laughs> the Mine Seagulls. They are here as well. And um, sometimes you can walk by and catch them being a little chatty if you're lucky.
in the Little Mermaid portion of Disney's Art of Animation Resort with one of my favorite guys, Sebastian. Everything here is larger than life. Gigantic Ursula, gigantic Triton, even Ariel's here hanging out with Flounder and there's a really awesome pool here. It's a lot more quiet and subdued than over at the Big Blue Pool. This one's more low key, so if you need some more tranquil time than party time, I'd suggest coming and hanging out over here. <laughs> All right, all that walking around and touring of Disney's Art of Animation Resort here in Walt Disney World, Florida has made me hungry. Right, Katie's been doing a great job of narrating. Thank you. And the reason we came here in the first place is because we are doing a nacho series. Yes. And for a limited time, the Art of Animation cafeteria food area, what's it called? Landscape of Flavor. Has a limited pour tabello? Nope. Pour. <laughs> For uh, adobo. 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 Adobo chicken nachos. You're so adorable. Adobo, yes. <laughs> uh, nachos. And so we're going to walk yeah. in, order some, check it out, and give you guys a review the pricing and, and all the good stuff. Yes, we're going to go get some nachos because this is Nacho Average YouTube video. All right. All right. Check it out. Hi, how's it going? Good. Uh, can I get the chicken adobo nachos, please? Yeah, for here to go. Uh, for here, please. The package is acquired. Oh, yeah. Limited Check. time adobo nachos. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So here are the chicken adobo nachos. They look pretty spectacular, right? So you have the blue corn chip tortilla chips um, as your base. Then there's a smoky adobo um, nacho cheese sauce on top. There's corn, there's roasted pepitas, tortilla strips on top. There's also that um, awesome chicken. So it uh, looks pretty substantial. It only costs $12.49 plus tax for this big old bowl, which really for uh, something at Disney, something so hefty, that's a really great price. So it's got some oomph to it. I think we're going to dive on in. Here we go. First impressions. Dig Katie, in. Katie, you go first. Um, okay, I want a bite that has like all of the things on it. Look at this one. Oh, wow. that yeah. does have all the Ooh, things. It does have all the things. So it has um, the nacho cheese sauce, roasted corn and chicken, pepitas. Um, I don't know what that is. Mango? Nope. These are, I think, um, might be like butternut squash or something. Those are fall flavors. This is a limited time nacho situation so it also has crema sauce on it too here we go right yep. cheers mm-hmm yep mm. that's what's up so you want to go first mm-hmm no you go ahead you go ahead all right Amazing. Um, I'm so pleased with this. So that is, I think, butternut squash. These have awesome fall flavors in this. It's cozy. Like, I didn't know that nachos could be cozy, but these are cozy. I guess, like, roasted flavors. It has that, like, sultry flavor that's just like, ooh, you know? Um, the pepitas have a nice crunch to it, but really, I think that adobo nacho sauce, uh, that's delicious and it goes so nice with the butternut squash. I'm pretty sure it's butternut squash that's on here. And I wish this was an all the time thing. I honestly would eat this quite often. What are your thoughts? First off, it's crunchy. <laughs> uh -huh. And the texture is great. Mm -hmm. And it's got like, I guess you would describe it as like hearty, hearty, sweet, semi-sweet flavors that are like filling and the sweet isn't overpowering to where it's like a dessert, but you can taste like the sweetness of the cranberries. Oh, there's cranberries in there. Mm -hmm. Nice. I but you can that. also taste taste teast. You can also <laughs> taste the, the savoriness of the, the chicken and the other stuff they have going on. Um, I think it's really delicious. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't think it's mediocre or like a dime a dozen meal. Um, I think it's really worth the money and it tastes really good and I think it would feed, you know, two people, maybe three people. Flavors are definitely there. I kind of wish I had some more of the like 
um, like layering. All the good stuff is like piled on top, which I get, that's fine. But if, if, what would make it even better was if, if they would like layer this in so that you had the yumminess everywhere. But um, I'm pretty tickled with this. Yeah. this I give good. it a Magic Crew five stars out of five stars. I feel that, me too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me too, me too. There you go. <laughs> so, just to recap, we're at Disney's Art of Animation yeah. Studio. We're, just to recap, <laughs> we're at Disney's Art of Animation Resort, mm -hmm. and we are starting our nacho series, and we're kicking it off with this Adobo limited time nachos here. Mm -hmm. And. I would recommend these to a family or friend. How about you? Right. Oh, no, I definitely would. I would get these again and again, to be honest. Um, mm -hmm. The point of this nacho series is we're nacho people. We are often ordering nachos while we're out and about. And so there actually was, an, this series came from a necessity. Like there was a need. We felt there was a need. We wanted to know where the best nachos were in all Walt Disney World. We kept ordering them around and around. And we're like, there's gotta be like some awesome nachos here, not just some generic nachos, but like truly awesome nachos. And so we figured, you know what? Like, why not turn this into a video series, make it an adventure? And um, so we're gonna show you the good, bad, and the ugly as far as nacho goes, um, all in the the efforts of educating everyone on Disney nachos to help you pick out some good nachos on your trip for science. For science. For science. And I would say that science was successful here today <laughs> with this dish. Mission accomplished. Mm -hmm. Oh. What? And we're also drinking a Coke Zero. There you go. It offsets the smokiness of the adobo. Uh, Is a it good a good year. year? Good year. Have some more. Mm, take that mm, in. Yeah. Yes. So nice. Mm. Mm. So there you have it. Some nachos, some nacho business. <laughs> so, yeah, I know it's sad. This is where the video has to end. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it was a good time. We had a great time touring uh, the Art of Animation Resort with y'all and grabbing some nachos. Those chicken adobo nachos were amazing. Amazing. Chef's keys. Mwah. And uh, just in queso, <laughs> queso, just in queso. You uh, don't want to miss out on any of the future nacho videos. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. And like this video. And like this video. And share it with your friends. Yes, because you don't want to miss out on any future cheesy nacho humor. Yeah. And also, too, drop a comment <laughs> below if you guys know where there's other awesome places on yes. uh, Disney property to right. get nachos. Exactly, because I've got a list going of places, but... Um, I want to know the best ones. What are your thoughts on nachos? Um, are there certain classic flavors that have to be incorporated in order to be a nacho? Or can they be like, I don't know, crazy alternative nachos? Uh, what's <laughs> your what's your go-to? Because I've seen some like weirdo ones here around the world and I'm excited to try them. Yeah. So thank you for watching and we will see you guys in the next one. Yeah, cheers. Bye guys. Bye.